up, everybody? It's Joe from Complex. We're in LA, a flight club with platinum artist, Tory Lanez. Love. Gonna do some sneaker shopping tonight. Gonna see what he's feeling, what he's not, and then hopefully he's gonna buy some sneakers. Yes, sir. Skate. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> Tori, first memory of sneakers, I heard both your brothers, your older brothers, came home with Iversons. You were like six or seven. That's crazy. Do you remember that day? I 1,000% remember that. I remember they had Iversons. They were the white ones that had the red... Uh, At the top? Yeah, I think the AI. Like the toe box. Yeah, on the, right on the toe box. Yeah. So boom, and I remember just being so jealous. Like that was probably, you're right, that was my first sneaker memory. Another thing, I know that you bounced around, but one of your houses when you were in Canada, right across the street from a mall, mm -hmm. is that true? And then that's yeah. where you were going and getting yeah, Jordans? Yeah, uh, we had this thing in Canada called Cebu Play. You know, now that I think about it, I'm not I'm not sure if everything was, everything legit. was legit. Okay, like a mom <laughs> pop you know, store? But it, it definitely made you feel like it was. They definitely sold everything for the same price. But just thinking about it now, I just think the place is like, I don't know how legit that was. Yeah, so. looking back, a lot of times we see, I don't know if they ever made that color. Definitely. And another thing that you were saying is that in Canada, shoes were selling out and then you would go to the States and you would see Jordans that had already sold out in Canada. That's true. Like, for instance, I remember there was one time that the Cool Grays had came out. Yeah. The 11s. And I remember, like... People were getting shot, you said. Yeah, people was dying over the Cool That's Grays. That's crazy. Like, that in was in a real Toronto. Thing. In Toronto. That was a real thing. Like, people was dying over the Cool Grays. Those in the, um, in the Bread 11s. People yeah. definitely died over them. I think what they did in Canada to us was like, they only gave us a certain amount of them. And I think that that just kind of drove everybody crazy. Like, yeah. if you don't have them, they're coming, they're stopping once, and you're never getting them shits again. So yeah, it was even yeah, more so rapid you gotta get Canada. them shits now, like, you know? When you came to the States, you said you got your first jewelry piece in the Coliseum Mall in Queens. Yeah. So when you came to the States, what stores were you hitting, just in general? Well, actually, this was actually one of the first stores that, you know, when we came to LA, my brother Jay, we came here. And he, he, I remember him just being so ecstatic about this place and just being like, yo, you gotta go to Flight Club. That's where they have everything. And we came in here. I remember I bought the Olympic Sixes? Sevens. No, the, I sevens. The sevens. The okay. Olympic Sevens. I remember I gave them to him and then I ended up wearing them and like fucking them up. Like, okay. Through the mud, like one of those crazy ones. Yeah. Like, and from that point on, he never ever gave me his kicks again. But, <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It was cool while it lasted. Tori, we got to talk Raptor 7s. Yes, yes, What do these yes. mean to you? These uh, mean a lot, number one, because the 7s are my favorite Jordans, okay. period. They're like my favorite model of Jordans. And also, I'm from Toronto, and so these definitely mean a lot to me. The, the Raptor colors, this means to me, it's Carter with the arm and yep. the rim. You yep. know, this means all of the, the countless times that we watched the playoffs and lost up until recently. But yep. um, got a chip. you know what I'm saying? That's what this means to me. Like, these are very, very important to me. I love these to death, but I don't love these as much as I love these. Infrared sixes. These are my favorite Jordans, period. Really? And I don't love every pair of sixes. That's why I said they're not, you know, my favorite model of Jordans. Mm -hmm. But these specifically are my favorite Jordans and not the retros, the newer ones. Okay. Because there's a big difference. The, the, people newer, the newer ones. Yes, because the thing is what people realize, you know, these are more so like the darker uh, red. And I think when it, there's the pop of like the new ones that came out in 2019. Yeah, a little more infrared. It's too crazy. Like, okay. you know, and I think they just match with everything. Got it. it. Doesn't matter whatever I put on, whatever I wear. Uh, there was a time I went to Flight Club in New York and I bought uh, nine pairs of these. I had them really? delivered to me. Yeah, you could ask them. somebody can c contact the guy. Okay. I can't remember. Yeah, we who gotta it hit is. up the people. But yeah, no, nah, I got nine pairs of these delivered at one time. One time. That's crazy. These are my favorite pairs of shoes. There was a story that I read. I don't know if you remember this. You had hair sevens, I think. Some girl scuffed them in school. Oh my gosh. How traumatic was that for you? That was. Uh, very, very traumatic, and it's fucked up. You know what's crazy is it's, it's not even that they got scuffed in school. It wasn't even that. You're talking about these, right? Yeah. It wasn't even that. You know what's crazy? When I was over there, I said something about the Olympics, and I mixed them up. Ooh. Okay. These were the ones, the hair sevens. I had bought these ones, and these were the ones that, that I had got for Jay that I fucked up. Okay. But these were the ones that went through the mud. Got it, And got this it. hurt my soul, like, my soul. Like, you know what I'm saying? It's just like I felt like the, the, the color wave of these were just so clean that like when I dirtied them up, it just... That was, so you got them for an older brother? Heart. Yeah, my brother Jay. Brother Jay, got it. Yeah. You 
also said, one thing you miss about the 2000s, like the self-expression, the airbrush t-shirts, the yeah, Air yeah, Force yeah. ones, you, facts, you facts, missed facts, that era, yeah, you yeah, said. That, that was stuff that I grew up on, like when I went to school and I was in middle school, I remember everybody would get the Uptowns and then they'd have the graffiti on them, yep. of course. Either that or you had, you know, the Timberlands, Same mustard thing. color, yep. you know what I'm saying, with the spray paint yeah. on it, and then, the, you know, the airbrush tee. And I think that that was a dope era, so I always kind of remember that when I think I just like playing or like back in the time, you know what I'm saying? You got two heaters out right now, one with Fabio, broken a minute, just dropped. Yeah. What are you gearing up for? What are, You just keep working? What can we expect soon? Um, honestly, I'm just going hard. I think i um, about to drop another project. This is my last project with Interscope. Okay. So after this, I'm about to be like... Free agent. Super free agent. Okay. Man. I don't think, you know... We're going to get the deal signed like Kawhi, <laughs> 3 a.m. We're going to get the alert. Something like that, man. Um, but yeah, so this is very special for me. I'm about to release a project very soon. So I was just heating it up. Yeah. You know, that's all. And the reaction to those two... Going crazy. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And I'm just happy that my fans, if I had a place where they're just willing and able to receive everything that's coming. I'm thankful for the new people and the new people that listen to my music every day and start sure. to get to know Tory Lanez. Awesome. Well, talked about everything. Now's the easy part. Browse the shelves, see what you're going to take home. Oh. Let's do it. All right, Tori, what's the vibes? I want the Unlucky 13s. Dunks. Classics. I'm gonna get these. I was kind of on the fence about the gum bottom, but yeah, with these yeah, for sure. Nah, it works. Um, the green Sakai's. Yeah, the best color. Yeah, I'm gonna get these from Mariah the Scientist. Also, I need some infrared sixes, of course, because those are my favorite shoes. I wouldn't walk into Flight Club and not get the infrared sixes. Copy. Boom. Then I need the off-white full Air Forces. Definitely need those. I actually bought those before, but gotta re-up on them because I messed my shit up. So your total comes out to 5,732 with 33 cents. <laughs> yeah. I'm fucking with you. <laughs> <laughs> nah, I just got I'm fucking with you. There you go. Mm -hmm. Baby spoon. Baby spoon. Okay. Need help? Or are you So, Tori came through, told some great stories. Thanks so much for taking the time. <laughs> Love, Joe, you already know what it is. Make sure you check out Broken a Minute out everywhere right now and new music coming soon. Damn, I ain't been broken a minute. <laughs>